IGF-1 therapy, there's no converting, right? It's not converting from the pituitary down to the liver. It's, it's going in as IGF-1 automatically. So at that point, you're kind of, go this is the best way I can describe it in layman terms. You're going from start to finish with IGF-1, where when you're taking CJC or MK or even growth hormone, it's got to go through that cycle and process, right, to convert into IGF-1. So that's the difference I would have to say. Um, Price-wise, there's obviously a difference. IGF-1 is a little bit more expensive, um, but it's that's the way it is, right? It's pretty expensive stuff. Um, but through us, we have the biggest discount on IGF-1. So at that point, I mean, it's a lot cheaper than $1,500 that I've seen out there and all this stuff, because this is not black market, guys. So at that point, um, you're paying for what you get 100%. Audio isn't the best on Instagram either. What? Yeah, we're, we're good on Facebook. Ah, oh, Uncle Charlie, we're checking it here in the studio. It looks like everything's all right. You sure everything's good over there? Technology. Uh, hey, JMO, happy Tuesday. All right, how to lower triglycerides? All right, so the real JMO. Um, so obviously with triglycerides or cholesterol in general. So we're talking about HDL, LDL, so good cholesterol, bad cholesterol, and triglycerides. So with this, you're really going to want to have to change up the diet. I know you probably hear this a million and one times, but it's the truth. Um, diet and exercise are ultimately going to help lower these different things and the foods you're eating are going to play a role in that as well. So with HDL, we're talking about good cholesterol. People are like, oh, how do I get my HDL really good? You know, and basically it's going to be, you know, good fats, right? You're going to get those good fats. Um, they say one glass of red wine per day, not overdoing it, not drinking more. Um, but one glass they say is approval for that. Um, you know, you're going to want to like change what you're eating. So right now we need to look at that. That's the first thing. LDL, you want to lower and stay away from fatty foods, fried foods, all this garbage out there. That is probably going to be your best role. Um, after that, you know, if you can't get it down and you're eating like clean as hell, you're training like a champ, it, there could be some genetic properties there that could be, you know, holding you back. But I see a lot of people where, you know, their parents had, you know, high cholesterol or high triglycerides and they're fine. So not all the time, you know, I don't want people just to blame it on that or be a scapegoat. At that point, they should really take accountability first and see what they can do with themselves. Um, this is with type 2 diabetics as well. Uh, I was talking to somebody the other day that works in the office and he was telling me I just found I was type 2 diabetic. And at that point, I'm like, well, man, I'm like, you know, you really need to change your diet. You need to get exercise. You need to look at these different things. Um, so, you know, basically, you know, he's like, yeah, you're right. So at that point, I think that's the best thing. All right, Big Irishman said, real quick, boss, what's an Ironman and what's it do? Can I use it to stimulate blood flow, increase blood flow, basically? So Ironman is one of our libido enhancers for both males and females, right? Now, what does it have in it? It has sildenafil and it has arginine. So yes, your question is, yes, it does stimulate blood flow. On both the sildenafil, which is a generic for Viagra, um, what that is is a vasodilator. What that means is, is you're gonna increase blood flow all over the body, right? With arginine, it's also a vasodilator, precursor to nitric oxide. So you're definitely gonna increase blood flow 100%. That's why we call it the Iron Man, because you should be straight up um, all over, per se. You're going to be pumped out of your mind uh, if you take that in Hercules. I, I guarantee it. So, yeah, that's a game changer. Uh, you know, Dwayne Dad, he was using Iron Man to keep his candy on his anniversary. Was the other day. Insane, for sure. I feel I feel bad for the wife. Uh, Big Drew, what's up, dude? Big Drew in the house. All right. It's good. Thank you, Eddie. I appreciate you supporting the badges. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, I'll send you a sample. Definitely send me a sample, please. I want to know. Uh, good here. All right. So we're getting some responses here. All right. Can MK677 raise it? I was on your guys' MK677 for three months, and it took a month off and about to hop back on. Can it raise triglycerides? Is that what, what the question was, real JMO? It shouldn't mess with triglycerides at all. Um, now, the only thing about MK677, guys, is it's going to stimulate your hunger hormone, and you're going to want to eat. So with that, you got to make sure you're eating clean. Because it's real hard to get stuck in a situation where you're starving to death, okay? Starving to death. It really is. It's like, I mean, it's messed up. Especially if you've never had that feeling before. It's like, man, somebody is, it's like one of those dogs you keep in a cage for like 10 days, man. It was like eat anything you put in front of it, especially you. So at that point, that's kind of what it is. So you want to make sure that you're, you're, 
you're eating very clean. You're, you're drinking a lot of water too as well. Uh, for me, before Titan Therapies, it was 110, and now it's 240, but I did gain 30 pounds from MK. It a lot of cheat meals. <laughs> so that, yeah, so that's that's what it was. So, you know, um, with that, you're going to you're gonna gain some, you're going to gain some weight, right? Good weight, hopefully. That's the whole point. Because this is going to help you train better in, is in the light of being able to lift maybe more weight so your strength is going to increase. Don't go crazy and hurt yourselves because you're going to just, you know, regress at that point. But continuously move forward. Um, it's all about moving forward. And at that point when you do that and you're eating clean and you're eating good calories, man, it's going to stack it on you. You're going to look really nice. And, and that's what it's all about, right? Aesthetically pleasing. You don't want to be like, and like you know a big like stomach you're like that's not cool right i mean big drew man this dude is like huge right and he's aesthetically pleasing that's the look you want to go for if you're really trying to get big um if not listen you want to carve up you know just a little six-pack area or a nice flat stomach you know you got some cuts on your arms and you're looking good all the way around and you're feeling good that's another thing because a lot of guys that are big or try to put too much weight or even muscle on they're putting stress on their body over stressing their body and then they're not feeling good right I remember when I was like, because I think every guy goes through it uh, where size matters, right? The bigger, the better. And I remember I was like at 230, and this is like right before Titan, right before, like as I was starting, like the beginning. And man, I, I just, I would try to bend down to tie my shoes, and I, I couldn't in some instances. I was like, man, this has never happened to me my whole life. Um, and at that point, like, you know, I'd have to get through the day. I feel stuffed the whole day. I really didn't look good. I look back on the pictures now. Um, I look a lot better now than I did then. God bless, you know, and I can look better for sure. But it's just crazy. It's crazy. Iron Man creates stalkers. Gotta love it. <laughs> True. All right. So, yeah, I think it made me crave junk food. It will. It won't, it, it won't make you just crave junk food. It'll make you crave anything, any food in front of you. I'm telling you, man. You'll be like a savage. So prepare, right? If you know you're going to be like that. Get your stuff ready. So at that point, you can tear into that, and it'll be good for you. You'll want to tear into that. And as long as you're training hard, those calories are going to be good, put to good use. So just go ahead and do it. Going to add it to my Hercules potion on arm day. Oh, let me know how that goes. What's going on, Taylor? How you doing, man? Get, get MK677 and enjoy Thanksgiving madness. It would be good on holidays. You would be able to... See, you, if you have a lot of family or you have to go to multiple areas, you know, you got to eat every time you go there. People will be like, oh, why don't you eat? Or you didn't eat hardly anything on your plate, right? So at that point, man, you go to one, pop MK. Hopefully you won't go to sleep. If you do go to sleep, blame it on the turkey. And, and then at that point, go to the next place, eat again. That was the one thing about MK2. You don't really want to take it during the day. You want to take it during the night. There's some people out there, like Drew can take it during the day. No problem. Great, great effects. Everything like that. But, or you might be popping ECA with it. You know, that's another good one that people do use. But at that point, you know, I would take it at night. You know, you're going to get the most stimulation on IGF-1 levels, you know, in your sleep. Um, hopefully you're getting good sleep. You know, that, that's where it really, really helps. I took MK67 and then went to Texas D Brazil to eat. <laughs> it hurt. Dude, I would be there all night and they would just be cutting those little steaks and the little um, lamb chops off there. I'd be tearing it up for sure. I love those places. Um, low carbs and more cardio for flat and tighter stomach. Absolutely. Um, <sighs> cardio. Let's talk about cardio because I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good subject I think to talk about. So cardio is good. Cardiovascular help especially. If you're trying to lose up, lose weight, and trim up, definitely incorporate cardio. I think when you get to a certain point, um, you know, and you're try you're there like almost aesthetically and stuff like that, as long as you're training and eating good, um, you probably won't need as much cardio, right? Because I hardly do any cardio. I'm just being honest with you guys. I'll be straight up transparent with you guys. I don't do any cardio hardly. I mean, except for bedroom activities. Uh, and I get it in, I promise you. Uh, and at that point, other than that, I really don't. I walk a lot. You know, I'm walking up and down the office, but I'm not going to run or anything like that. Now, I, I'm starting to coach my son's baseball teams and stuff like that, and I always lead by example. So if I tell him to run around the field, I'm running with him. And I'm not out of breath, so I'm like, thank God. I could probably do some sprints and stuff like that and still be all right. I used to love running. It's just I'm just trying to keep on and pack out more muscle. Me and Big Drew are trying to put on as much lean mass before Olympia. So it's on. I went there and trained hard as hell today in my 40, Drew, so you'd be proud. So it's on. Every day we got a goal. We're going to try to come in there lean and swole, but uh, that's what it is. But, you know, so low carbs. If, you, if you're obviously trying to deplete down or look look better, right, 
um, you're gonna want a low carb down beforehand. And then, you know, if you wanna look fuller, right, and juicy, you're gonna probably wanna carb up. That's kind of what the, the bodybuilders do in their shows. And Drew will tell you exactly how to do it. Um, but that's probably the best, best way to go. All right, Tessa Lynn, what's going on? Griffin Bates, all right, so do you need to fill out the paperwork to buy all this stuff? Yes. So we're a full medical center, guys. We're a real medical center. So at that point, you're going to have to fill out new patient paperwork like any other medical center you go to. And you're going to see a medical provider because everything is by prescription base. And everything comes from U.S. licensed pharmacies. It doesn't come by Titan. We don't make this stuff. We don't have little factories making this stuff. It doesn't come from China. It comes from U.S. licensed pharmacies, right? So at that point, they compound it, test it, good to go. You guys will be on your way to getting results for sure. All right, so DJ Get Low, what's going on? How you doing out there? All right, thank you, Big Irishman. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. There is a link, so you guys can fill out the link. All right, so let's get to one of the topics of the day. We talked about TB500. We talked about all of the services type medical center does. If you have any questions about TB500, MK, IGF-1, hormone replacement therapy, anything like that, go ahead and shout it out to me. Um, if not, I'm going to head to my next topic. So the next one is Chicago judge tries to revoke custody of child from a mother because she was unvaccinated. All right. So I was reading this story um, last night, right, before I sent it over to Art for the show. And what happened was, was this, this lady, and she's already had custody of this kid for 11 years. Um, at that point, she goes in and it was over, it was, she, you know, the, the husband was there and it was over, um, it was over child support, right? They were just going to re reevaluate where the child support was at. Off mark, the judge basically says, hey, listen, he goes, hey, uh, to the, the mother, are you unvaccinated? And the mother said, yes, I'm unvaccinated. Um, but it's because of um, my doctor told me not to get it because I had some other health issues. So what does the judge do? The judge says, you know what? You're endangering that minor and every kid deserves to have a safe like house to, to be in. So he asked the father, are you vaccinated? The father said, yes, I'm vaccinated. He said, well, she can't see the kid until she becomes vaccinated and then hands over custody to the father. Now she's already had custody for over 11 years. Okay. And at that point, this wasn't over that there was no fight there was no contention there was nothing like that so this judge basically overstepped his boundaries um now i woke up this morning <laughs> and there was already something different in this now i guess the judge reverted on what he did right so at that point she finally got custody back but now she's she's scared right she's scared that maybe an appeal will go through or something like that's going to happen and at that point she doesn't know why she was even in that position so it's crazy, you know, I, and then I, you know, we're looking these things up afterwards and basically like judges out there or letting pr like when prisoners are getting out early because of COVID and stuff like that in jails, um, like a term of that condition is, is that they have to get the vaccine. Now there's other judges out there that are offering no community service that you were supposed to do if you get the vaccine. Um, if you want to do this, you know, in some cases you have to get the vaccine. Why are judges like doing pushing vaccines? Uh, over legal matters. This is just really crazy. Uh, and this is happening all over the country. So it's not just in one state or one judge. Um, it's really nuts out there. It's just really, really crazy. So, you know, be careful out there, guys. And if you guys aren't vaccinated, that's nobody's, that's nobody's information that they need, right? And unless you guys are in one of these different states like New York, I know DMK Fitness is, like De Devin's out there and some different people in different states where they've got these, you know, the vaccinations to like, go to the gym or go to a restaurant, which is nuts. Uh, it, that's just crazy, guys. I mean, that should be a personal choice. Um, if you're getting vaccinated, then you should be happy. You're, you're, you're protecting yourself, right? Um, you can still carry it, but the unvaccinated people and people that have not caught COVID, those guys might be in a higher category to catch it and to have some bad things happen. So if you already caught it, there's many cases out there of natural immunity and stuff like that. Um, but if you feel better to get the vaccine, get it. Don't let anybody talk you out of that either. Um, go with what you feel you, you think is right. I think that's what it's all about. All right. Chinese kid now has a very limited video game time under new government rule. This, I think, we should incorporate in the United States. Um, because I have this problem with my son, too. So, I, I mean, I feel for every parent out there. Because when I was growing up, we were just getting Nintendo, I think, like when I was 10 years old. Right? 
Um, and I'm 40 now, so we, we didn't have iPads. The Game Boy, I remember that was that was awesome. You know, I, I had Sega Genesis, you know. Uh, I had, like, one more game system. And we played. Uh, don't lie. You know, we played. We love video games. Of course kids do. But we didn't have the access that we do now. Um, and it's just on phones. It's on iPads. It's on computers. It's on game systems. It's all over the place. So China is has seen this as a problem. And basically, like, the media was hyping up as a spiritual opium. So at that point, the Chinese government was looking at our kids are become very addicted to this. And it's not just China. It's all over the United States, especially when uh, online gaming came into play. Because even before you had the game at home, you were playing yourself or you were playing like one other buddy. Or when Nintendo came out with like four people you could play or Xbox, you were playing four people. But you weren't online playing with everybody around the country. And that just makes easy access and it makes it better. Because before you played the game only so much, it was just you. And you would kind of get bored of it, and you'd just be done with it, right? You wouldn't play it. You could beat the game, and you're done. Um, now it's just it's a whole different level. So what they're going to do is is they're going to make uh, guidelines for those that are under 18 years old. They only get three hours a week of gaming. This is awesome, right? Uh, and then it's like one hour on the weekends or something like that. It's really really crazy, and they're gonna they're gonna do this. Now the other question was was how are they going to institute this, right? How are they going to police this? Because they are a communist government, so they can do whatever the hell they want, right? They'll come after your family, they'll take you out, whatever it is. But what they're doing is, is they're putting it back on the games and the game systems for online. So they're going to make them restrict these people, and they're going to make them do the policing of this gaming. So if they try to go online, they're going to restrict them and implement this. So at that point, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad that they're doing this. Yeah, Chinese gaming companies. This is really cool. So, and login. Yeah, you get, they're going to require these login systems at that point for you want to play, and they're going to know if you play an hour, two hours. Now, I'm sure there's going to be some workarounds. Other people's login systems, you know, they sell these bogus ones. I'm sure somebody will come up with something, but at that point, you're going to have the government of China coming after you, and like I said, China communists, they don't play. They will take you out like nothing. Um, so that's what it is. Texas just passed legalization of carrying a weapon. Now it's fully legal. No license needed. All you have to do is be 21 and no prior major offenses. That's a big one too, man. Um, you know, good for Texas. Uh, if it was good for you, I wouldn't have to bribe. You take an example if I had to go. Yes, that, this is true. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, guys. So we have the Titan News Weekly Poll. All right. Newsletter Weekly Poll. Um, do you know that you can inject peptides to heal your injuries faster? It was a simple yes or no. 71% said yes. So you guys are paying attention. I love it. Um, there's some great things out there that will help you guys heal faster, right? Maybe not have to go through those surgeries that you want. You're, you're going to have to look forward to doing, which is not fun at all. Um, and then 28% said no. Can you tell me more? So that's when we went into TB500 today, BPC157. These are great healing peptides. And there are anti-aging peptides too as well. Um, there's, a, there's a couple that are really, really cool out there that hopefully they will be coming to tight medical center. Hopefully these pharmacies will be able to produce them. Um, you know, like I said, we're just going to keep bringing out the cutting edge therapies to you guys as they come from the pharmacy, as we can do legally, um, and make sure you guys are getting the best upcoming events. So if you guys are interested in any of these events out here, uh, September 9th through 11th at St. Pete Art and Fashion Week. September 11th is the fashion show. Tight Medical Center is the top designer and title sponsor of this so i'm very excited about that september 18th wcfl 30th anniversary i'll probably have um i'll probably have Raphael come in here maybe on a titan talk tuesday or something like that maybe um just kind of shout out to you guys put it on a guest right hi tanya how you doing what's going on uh she, she's she's on here she, i'm sorry i didn't mean to call it out last time she's like i'd like to come on here but i, I don't want you to call me out <laughs> so i apologize uh, oh, yeah, art and fashion. Yeah, so that's something that we do. So Titan Medical Center does a lot of different things, right? We do a lot of different events. Now, we are a full medical clinic, right? And preventative and anti-aging are our main meat and potatoes. But we are much more. We've evolved. We've progressed. Um, at that point, you know, that's why we're the Titan Lifestyle. So the Titan Lifestyle is what we live. It's all about living a healthy lifestyle, looking good, feeling good, and performing better. Now, performing better and feeling better, yes, therapies. Looking better are part of the therapies, but that then entails our clothing line um, and then you know some of the events that we do we like you know performance high high-end exotic cars 
um, or the sh car shows in general because it's really cool. Even Jeep Fest and all that. We do a lot of different things out there. Um, MMA. We do all kinds of like music events. So I mean, we try to spread it out. Try to sponsor a lot of different things because there's a lot of different people in a lot of different places, right? Um, and we like to get out and we like to mingle with all everybody. So it's really really cool. Tessa, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. So guys. Sharice is running for our condo association board. And I think the vote was today. So hopefully we'll know something by tomorrow. And if we do, I'm going to do a video on it. So hopefully that happens. Um, you know, our building is in this like huge building with these condos too as well. So we want to at least have a commercial uh, representation on there. And if you guys don't know how that is, trust me, you don't want to know. All right. <laughs> um, all right. Um, Tampa International Airport Annual Employee Health and Wellness Event. So that's October 13th. That's going to be awesome. Um, so that's for all of the Tampa International employees. We do that event yearly. We're a preferred vendor with the International Airport here in Tampa. Um, they love us coming in. We love coming in there. We're going to do free B12 shots there. So if you guys have heard about it or don't know about it, look on our newsletter. You guys can check that out too as well. Um, there's a link on our pages, our social media pages. that will take you right to it that's with these videos. So check it out. Um, and Olympia. So Olympia 2021 here in Orlando, Florida. It's going to be awesome. We got a ton of things going to go on there. Got a lot of giveaways for you guys. Go Sharice, all right? I hope Sharice wins. See, I put her on, on, the, on, the, <laughs> on the little ballot because I was like, man, you look better than me. They're going to listen to you, whatever. So at that point, I, I don't want to. I'm just behind the scenes type of guy. I'll let her do that. Um, October 23rd, Tim Gardner's NPC Hurricane Bay. Back here in Pinellas. I can't wait for that. Always a great show with Tim Gardner and Tim Gardner Productions. No November 13th, Cars and Court Tour, 11th Annual Collectors Gala. Donna Crowley puts that on. She puts on most of the events. She'll put on the St. Pete Fashion and Art Week, too, as well. Um, I work with her. Love her. Uh, and love the events. I love being a part of them. And we've got a long time. I think it's about four years now, or maybe longer, in these events that we've been with her. So, awesome events. We'll be out there with the Titan Rides and an art or another fashion show at that point. So that's going to be a good cross and court tours and always a good one. Uh, December 14th, Tim Gardner's NBC Atlantic coast. That'll be down in South Florida. I've never been to that event, but like I said, Tim Gardner puts on a hell of an event. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking for all the competitors out there. We're going to be out there representing a lot of giveaways too, as well. So I think that's it guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys all tuning in. Uh, all right. So Hulk squad, this is a good one. Thoughts on Arnold's recent comments and losing sponsors. So with this, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who I'm a, a, a big fan of, uh, love Arnold Schwarzenegger growing up, love what he's about. Now, recently he's came out and, you know, he's been very vocal about, you know, vaccinations and masks uh, for people. And I understand that Arnold Schwarzenegger has heart issues and he has other health issues probably. So at that point, he probably doesn't want to get sick because he probably doesn't want to die. I understand that. But, um, you know, he was recently on an interview and... You know, basically, he said that, you know, people are schmucks that don't want to get the vaccine and, you know, basically screw your freedoms, right? And, you know, there was more to the interview, a little bit more, but um, just from what him saying that, he's lost sponsors. He's lost big sponsors. Like Redcon 1, you know, as far as supplement game goes, they're a pretty big dog in that. Um, they do sponsor most of his events, like Arnold Classic, and they have got athletes that are probably going to compete in it. But at that point, you know, uh, I got to give it to them. They stood their ground. They said, listen, we don't think this is very patriotic. We don't think this is very American. And we're going to have to not be able to support the brands anymore. So I understand that. And I, I fully uh, respect that. And I think that's good. Now, I think Arnold maybe, and he came out afterwards uh, about this and started talking about basically, you know, maybe his words could have been different. And I did bring this up before. And at that point, I, I think, yes, his words could have been different in what he was saying. Like, hey, listen, we, we should be able to you know, be responsible for other people to a certain degree and, and not want to get them sick. Or, you know, I think this is right, but, you know, other people might have their different opinions on it. You know, because you can't force people. You know, this is not about forcing people. I mean, we don't know if these things work, don't work. I mean, I wear a mask in, in tight medical center right now. We have our employees because people are coming in with COVID positive tests. I mean, I want to make sure that anything, make sure to protect my girls or my staff here. And uh, it's just crazy. So, but I don't like wearing a damn mask. I mean, I don't want to wear a mask. and I barely wear it out. I just, in medical center, in medical facility, we're going to wear a mask uh, or PPE if we need to at that point, because I can't afford for my staff to get sick or something happen to them. So I got to protect them the best I can here. But I would never go on and say, you know, screw your freedoms. You know, that's really up to somebody else. If they don't want to wear a mask, it's what it is. I understand that. Um, 
It is what it is. They don't want to get vaccinated. That's, that's on them, too. It is what it is. So that's what my take is on it. I really think it's up to everybody to do whatever they want to do and responsibly to a certain degree. Um, and I don't think anybody should say, screw your freedoms. And I think, you know, he sh- should apologize just in general uh, and say that, you know, basically my words were wrong and what I said. And I don't really think that. I think a lot of people will respect that. And I think, you know, we give people second chances. You know, some people make mistakes. I think we've all made mistakes to a certain degree, right? Um, and we should, if we're really, really uh, um, apologetic about it, and let's say we've done uh, you know, our deed or done our time or whatever the hell it is, then we need to get over that. As long as people are, are moving forward and being responsible from that point, uh, I think that's, that's the best thing. You know, some things, you know, some people can never forgive. Um, but a majority of things I, I think that people can forgive and people can move on from. All right, you just got to want to do it. So thank you. I appreciate Hulk Squad. I appreciate all you guys tuning in every Tuesday with me for Titan Talk Tuesday. It's always a great show. If you guys have anything you guys want to bring up, comments, questions, anything like that, you guys should let me know. So at that point, I can help you guys out or we can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. I'm really here for you guys. I do this every week for you guys. You know, for me, listen, I don't really have to do it. I don't need to do it, but I want to do it. I want to make sure that, you know, um, constantly interacting with you guys answering some of these questions out there some people don't know these uh, this information and sometimes i think it's redundant information that i'm talking about and i always have somebody ask me those questions um so i just want to make sure that i can help you guys out as best as possible you're smart with your words man you should be a lawyer so that's what is what i want to do when i was a little kid when i was a little kid i could always have like what do, what do you want to do when you grow up i was like i want to be a lawyer and i want to drive a porsche so not a lawyer uh and i don't drive a porsche um, so at that point, it's a little different, you know, what I thought was going to happen to what happened now. But everything, honestly, worked out a lot better. And I have more of a passion for this than I thought I'd ever have in my whole life or anything. So that's why I love doing it for you guys. I love doing it for myself. I love doing it for my family. I love doing it for the patients, all you guys out there. So much love to you guys. I appreciate all you guys tuning in. Um, Titan Lifestyle is going to be a, a, another location on Friday, mystery location. We've never been there before. So hopefully all goes well for you guys. Tune in. 2 p.m. Friday with me and Big Drew. Um, it'll be Labor Day weekend edition. Uh, at that point, what I will do is is I will auction. Or I'm going to auction. I'll, I'll I'll hand out a jersey to somebody. Some people will win one of the Type Medical Center jerseys. I have all sizes: small, medium, large, extra large, double extra large, three X. Okay. So for you guys out there, tune in. I promise you guys, I'll give one away to you guys. Um, and at that point, I'll hook you guys up. So I appreciate all you guys. Thank you, Ange. Thank you, Big Irishman. Freedom Life Productions. Justin Caviar, what's going on? Tesla, thank you all you guys for tuning in. I appreciate Hulk Squad. Tanya, I appreciate it. Eddie, everybody out there, thank you guys if I missed you. I really appreciate your support. I'll see you guys. Titan Lifestyle, Big Drew, 2 p.m. Friday. All right, guys. I'm John. I'll see you guys later.